How to identify structure key levels, price areas, levels where artists are located, institutional levels. Um, a lot of traders are using a lot of different stuff, which is fine. Some traders using supply and demand areas, some traders using trend lines, some traders using support and resistant levels. Got the question a lot, Kev, um, is support and resistant and supply and amount areas the same? Uh, no, it's not. It's a completely different thing. Um, supply and amount areas are fresh levels um, where you can identify institutional orders, okay? This market is driven by institutions, funds, big banks, stuff like that. So they moving the market and not we as retail traders. We are just a little piece of the pie of the complete industry and we don't move the market um supporting resistant is simple and historical price area um we have price rejected or reversed um multiple times in the history in terms of supply and demand areas are, are mainly fresh levels um that are not tested more than one or two or three times and that gives us probability uh potential tr uh, trade setups okay that is the id uh, in this video, we're just uh, going to cover a couple of important and critical points. Um, I want to give you an example on GBP out. Um, you really don't need a messy chart with a lot of indicators, a lot of price levels, a lot of price zones. Make no sense. Keep it clean, clean for your mind and trade of that and understand what you're looking for uh, with the proper risk to reward slash risk management. Um, if you're moving to the higher time frame on GBP out, for example, okay, you can see there was a nice little uptrend um, moving down to the lower time frames and scaling down the lower time frames. Um, you can see that last high were around this area and around this area, okay. So there was the last high, and you can see price of trading try to trade to the downside, failure and trade to the upside. You can see that price. Um, turn it back to this level and created a level of supply right here. Okay. Um, you can see that the price created a base right here on the left as well. And uh, demand level right here. Okay. Two simple supply and demand areas combined with levels of liquidity in the market. Those big spikes are signs of liquidity, okay? As you can see, price pushes to the downside, okay? Right here, hitting this level, this valid level of demand, okay? You can see it was the first time back to this level. If you're adding a line right here on this body, you can see that the price have tried to break this level but never did. And this is why I don't like breakout trading that much because um, eight of the 10 times it's a failure, you know? Uh, so it's not a valid break. It's simply a fake move. We call it a fake out, okay? And that is also what you see within those um, liquidity levels, supply and amount areas, okay? Um, most traders that starting to trade um learning the total wrong stuff so they learn to 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 do to, to, to uh long the breakout and to short the breakout but trading a breakout is something else you know and uh keep in mind eight of the eight of the ten times it's a failure if there is no um valid break with a nice return to that base to see a continuation okay so you see it happening right here and you see it happening right here two failures of breakouts, okay? On absolutely edges of the market, simply as that. So um, you can see it happen right here. This right here is simple, a fake move on a level of liquidity. Most traders slash retail traders, you and me, um, getting that, that feeling from, we seeing, we're seeing a buy off right here. So we're seeing a lack to the upside. And most traders 
have that fear of missing out. So they go, they, they're going to buy the absolutely top right here, you know, because it's a breakout. It's a, it's a breakout level. And that's total wrong. Um, there was also on supply base created. Those wicks uh, represent liquidity. And you can see that price spike it in it, turn it back to it, test it and fear you and move to the downside. Simply as that. The only thing you need is two important levels um, of your charts, most important thing. So simply to say, you have a price range. Identify price range and straight those edges and see how price respond to that. Um, most of the time, I'm mapping out my supply and amount areas on the 4H, 3H, 2H or 1H. Um, sometimes mid-range key levels as potential targets minute 30 and skating down my trades on lower time frame for proper executions and great risk to reward ratios um, that is the id okay so for example you can see that fake move right here okay i'm not saying you have to ride the entire wave to the upside but this is the range you have okay from edge to edge simply as that okay right here same opportunity you have right here okay So most traders are way too, um, yeah, way too quick with buying and selling from these edges, okay? So buying the breakout right here because you see a boom run right here, but bulls getting exhausted. You see it coming right here. You see some big candles, two, three, four big candles. And after that, you see a lot of uh, rejection within, within this level to fake more traders. Some of them, they'll short it right here. Then the manipulation hits in, the deep liquidity spikes hit in. And after that, you see that fake move. So that deep spike. And then the price turns around. And you can see that, yeah, price is exhausted. You know, price is exhausted. So this is where the sellers come in. This is where the buyers come in. This principle are very important to understand. Simply as that. I will give you a couple of more examples uh, on USD CAD, for example. It's also a nice pair to trade. It has a nice price range. Sometimes it can trend very hard. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of opportunities um, if you trade this pair. For H time frame, you can see we saw a nice um, little bullish trend right here. After that, the price finds um, definitely supply in the month areas. As an example that I want to give you right here, you can see price have find um, supply right here. And you can also see that nice fake moves slash fake outs within this price area right here. Let's move to another demand level. This is simply a level of demand, okay? You can see price turn it back to it first time, second time, third time, fourth time. Okay. I do recommend for my community, my traders, and also what I teach in the education, using supply and amount areas not more than three times. Okay. Um, I think it's critical and it gives you high probability from to trade from these edges. Um, so that is simply the ID. But you can spot the price. Um, the range within this level, the range, the price range in this level. Example, you see it happening right here as well. Keep in mind, this was an NFP move from last Friday. So you can see price trade back to the downside, trading up first time back. You see a lot of nice spikes and um, yeah, liquidity, liquidity spikes within this level. Price turns back to it, tests it, push to the downside, NFP it in. You can see even the fundamental push respecting the supplies on this is pretty amazing, you know. So identifying your 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 your, your price ranges, yeah, that is most important thing, and uh, be patient on it. Here, it's example right here. Okay, I'm not saying you have to ride the entire wave to the downside, but it gives you high probability, you know, and that's the most important thing right here. Your first potential trade, okay, from this edge, if you was patient enough to wait for the fake move. Very critical right here, okay? This is a trade that more than likely you should take on the lower time frames. 
Otherwise, your risk to reward were a little bit big, you know? So you see the fake move, and if you move them down to the lower time frame, scale down the lower time frames, you can see price break back in this range, which make it pretty interesting. So this is how you identify those um, supply and demand areas within those price ranges, and that gives you probability, high probability trading. That is why we're trading supply and demand. Same stuff you see happening right here. Absolutely edges of the markets right here okay fresh base nice push in this level push away from this level test this level and put in your potential shorts are triggered okay well nice examples and you can do the same thing on the other edge of the market down here simply as that you know um goldie and i said that i love a lot and that i trade a lot and i also want to give you a little Examples within this hourly time frame, you can see price for, um, yeah, simply trending to the downside, find range. Okay, if you're mapping out those, um, that price range right here and right here, absolutely edges of the market. So, example, okay, price range. And on this wick right here, scaling down to the lower time frames and see where probability is in the market. Okay, you will notice that price spike it in this level, and we spot a lot of rejection in this level. You have the information that price overall trending to the downside, um, but have found range right now within those levels. Okay, simply as that right here you see the same principles a lot of fake moves liquidity moves within those levels uh and again you have probability okay first option you have here second option you have here and so on okay after that, price have tested this level a lot of times. You can see price finally break this level and continue the trip to the downside, which is also very, very, very nice. Simply to say, um, don't need a lot of key levels, don't need a lot of trend lines, don't need a lot of indicators. Just understand price range, um, read price, what is price telling you and uh, execute on that simply to say you know um, two three levels in the markets all you need a couple of currency pairs is all you need try to master this pairs try to uh, understand those behaviors and uh, yeah you didn't you don't need no super indicator or uh, be a super trader to make an ins consistent income of this great market you know definitely um opportunities on edges that was the the message in this video um hope you enjoy it little short video and i will be back soon much love bye bye